thing. Some of you or all of you might take something with you and maybe it will help you in the future in what you want to become. <laughs> My name is Louis Castillo. Um, I'm a native. I am 32 years old. I'm married with three kids. And at 15 years old, my life made a change. I had a dream. Maybe like Martin Luther King, but a little bit differently. Um, my dream was to become a Yankee basketball or become a major league baseball player. And I love playing baseball. Maybe, maybe some of you like sports. Um, okay. And my goal was to come out of my neighborhood, which was a very violent neighborhood. And I was 15 years old, and I would look out my window, and all I would see was violence, drugs, money. And I knew at 15, when my mom and dad never let me used to go outside, I knew why looking out that window. And it was because that wasn't the path that she wanted me or anyone else to go down. And I, I preach this because there's somebody that might see a lot of things out there that might influence you to do, and you should be. A, follower, a leader and not a follower. And I tell you this, there's a lot of you here, and I know most of you or all of you might become a leader one day and pass down what I'm passing down now to you guys. There's always a brighter future for everybody. When a teacher tells you something, don't get upset. If she's telling you for good, that's why she's a teacher. There's another thing. If your mom and dad tell you something, it's for your own good. Yeah, it's good to have friends and play basketball, baseball outside, or jump rope with your girls and you know, it's okay, but education is very, very important. Reading, how, how many of you read 20 minutes a day? Yeah. At home. At home. You, I, let me tell you something, guys. I'm very proud to see all these hands up because I went to five schools already, and I maybe got three hands. And that's good because the more knowledge you get, you're feeding yourself and your brain to become better at what you do and what you want to become in your dream. Now, at 15 years old, I, I wrote a letter. I, I couldn't go outside. I used to ask my mom and dad why I couldn't go outside. So I wrote a letter in the room. I used to watch the Yankee game every single day. Never been to the old Yankee Stadium. There's a new one now. There was the old Yankee Stadium with one six hundred driving across the street from me. And that was like a, a, a monumentous landmark. And I always wanted to go, and the, and the tickets were six dollars back then. Now they're pretty expensive, like forty dollars. And I said, you know what? If my my family, you know.